In this little section here, we're going to discuss getting a grip. You need your grip to do two things for you. You need it to square up the club face at impact, and you need it to be able to give you the maximum amount of power that you could possibly have. Let's go through the grip that I recommend for most players. So it's not so much the strong or the weak and the open or the close, but you also need to discuss the aspect of where to hold the club in your hands. It's very important that you don't let the club ride too far up into your palm. This is going to really damage your wrist cock and not only is it a power leak, but it also can help you to open or close the face involuntarily. Into the trigger finger of your left hand, slot it into that little pocket at the top of your little finger and let your fingers wrap over. So not only do we need to discuss where you hold the club in your hands, but also how rotated over your left arm is. I think a lot of players can play with at least two knuckles showing, maybe even three. Don't let this hand fall under the shaft here where the knuckles go down to the ground. That'll cause you to play golf with an open face, and that's just one experience you just don't need to have. Also, Make sure you don't let this area here separate. You should try to keep a little bit of pressure there. The reason for that is at the top of the backswing when we're changing direction and there are a lot of dynamics on the club, we need to keep maximum control. Now, putting your hands together, there are some different options. There's the 10 finger grip, which some players like. I personally feel it prevents you really from cocking your wrist properly. There's the interlock which many fantastic players have used very successfully, good for small hands or especially for junior golfers. You need to be careful though that you don't get that interlock too stiff or too deep. There's the Varden grip where this little finger just sits on top of the index finger of your left hand. Or there's my personal favourite and I think probably we should put that down to Mr Hogan or at least he wrote about it where this little finger just sits in the groove there. There's a little bit of separation, it sits in the groove. I find that gives my hands the maximum feel on the club and the biggest amount of control. So you need to practice some different areas of your golf game. You need to start with your grip because for sure, good golf begins with a good grip.